Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Cree. Why can't I why can't I share nothing this morning? Good morning. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show. We're having confessions and conversations about your everyday life. My name is Yamitra Jojo Wade of the only Live Past Crazy Special. So what better place to be than here with me? Good morning. Good morning, y'all. It's gonna be a good day. So I put an all night a Saturday. I didn't go to sleep to 6.30 Sunday morning. And then I was up at 10.30 Sunday morning. And so by 9 o'clock, I had had it with that day, honey. I was all out of all of my energy. So here we are. Here's to a new day. Good morning. I hope you guys are ready to get this morning started. I know I am. I hope you had a great weekend. I hope you were safe. Y'all, um, uh, I should have my shirt today, my Team Abundance. No, no. Team Abundance shirt will be here Wednesday. Um, if you want one of those, make sure you're on the um, email list. Uh, well, if you go to BIT, let me type it in here. So Team Abundance t-shirts are available to, uh, to order. That's the link for that. Um, so you can order them. Mine will be here today. If if it'll have team abundance and it'll have what we stand for on the front and the back, but if you want your name and your number, that will cost extra. So um send me a message and I will tell you because I'm working on updating that right now. So welcome to the Fearless Morning Show. We're having confessions and conversations about your everyday life. My name is Yamitra Jojo Waddell, the only live past crazy special, so what better place to be? Then here with me. Please make sure you share the show because sharing is caring. If friends and family don't have Facebook, send them to the YouTube channel. If they don't do that, your girl is now on Amazon Music with the podcast A to the Men. A to the Men. iHeartRadio, I'm coming for you next. Um, if they don't do that, we have five books they can read. They're all on Amazon as well. And then if they don't do that, we do have a, um, we got the movie. The last time with Tommy Ford so that they can catch that. All right. So last week, so y'all, we I'm I'm working on this team of abundance manual like I'm not playing. And last Friday we talked about um we got to stop reducing our vision. Like you you're not going to reduce your vision to to match your current reality. You're going to keep your vision what it is and then we're going to break it up into small size pieces so that we can accomplish our big goal. But we're not reducing our vision just because of your current reality. We're not fixing to do that. No, you're not allowed to reduce your vision uh, so that you can comprehend it for where you are. Because if you take your vision down to your level of comprehension to your reality, that's where your dream is going to go to die. Your dream will die there. Um, it won't go any further. And you will find yourself aggravated and frustrated and not know why. So, we're not reducing our vision, number one. So, that brings us to today. Let's go go ahead with the quote of the day. Actually, it's like more than a quote. It's like, um, it's a statement. I am strong and steadfast in my vision. I am blessed and grateful for my path. I know where I am right now is exactly where I need to be. I have fortitude to manifest my dream. I am strong and steadfast in my vision. I am blessed and I'm grateful for my path. I know that where I am right now is exactly where I need to be. And I have the fortitude to manifest my dream life. So I and that is by um Lucas Notes Love. I absolutely love that quote. Um was statement because it's true. You are strong, you 
and you have to be strong and steadfast in your vision, you are blessed and grateful for your path. And where you are right now is exactly where you need to be to get exactly what you need to get. Period. So, the thought of the day, y'all, is dream team. Okay, y'all, uh, if, if you're 40 and older, you know what the dream team is in basketball, the Olympics. You know, those are the, the Michael Jordans of the world. Um, and people will argue who the true dream team is. But let's talk about the dream team. And what does that mean? So when you when you have teammates who are going who are going in the same direction as you, they will often remind you and pep you up for what you need to do. And then you gotta ask your question, what does winning ask yourself this question, what does winning look like for you? And for some of us, we are winning on a lot of levels, right? And whatever level you're winning on, you need to be proud of that and be thankful for that. Um, and on Team Abundance, here's the, here's the thing about the dream team that I want us to remember. Some of us, y'all know that fake it till you make it statement? Some of us can fake it and get on the dream team. You can fake it and you can make it to the tryouts. You can make it to the playoffs. But when you get there, when you, when you get on the team, what got you on the team can't keep you on the team. Some of us can do just enough to get on the team by the hair of our teeth. But it is our effort that is going to keep us in the game. It is our effort that is going to keep you in the game. It is going to be your character, your mentality, your mindset that is going to keep you playing the game. Because if your, um, if your mindset or your effort does not match trying to win the championship or wanting to win the championship, if it doesn't match, you're not going to stay in the game very long. Meaning you're going to get hurt. You're going to get tired. You're going to tap out. You're going to want out because what is required from you is so much greater than what you're willing to give. So some of us can get on Team Abundance by the hair of our teeth and we can fake it till we make it. We can say, oh, I'm doing this, this, and this, and this. And you can make it to the team. You show up for practice every day. But when your teammates are saying, well, practice is, is an hour earlier, JoJo. So you got an hour before practice and an hour after practice and practice. Well, JoJo ain't willing to do before and after. She's willing just to show up for practice. And so it is your effort that is going to keep you in the game. It's your effort that is going to... See if you're going to win this championship or not. It is your effort that's going to change your relationships with your friends. It's going to change your mindset. It's going to change how you see yourself, your character. It's going to change everything at your core because now it's... See, when you first start out, when you first start out on your journey, whatever it is, if you want to be a teacher, if you want to be a doctor or lawyer, when you first start out... You have the dream, right? You have this vision and then you break it down in bite-sized pieces and you work your way towards it. Well, it's somewhere along the way, if that journey gets difficult or if it gets harder and harder to understand, your effort, your character, and your mindset is what's going to keep you working towards that goal. But if your effort is not, if you don't have enough uh, to do it, then... When it comes time to really, really do the work of what it takes to accomplish your goal, you won't be able to do it. You're not going to be able to put forth that effort. It's easier to move when you have team members that understand your moving language. It is easier to move when you have a team that understands your moving language. Meaning, if I have... If I have my purpose partners, right, it is easier for me to have a conversation with them because we have purpose partners conversations. We have, we are all speaking the same language. I can't take a purpose partner conversation and have it with just a, a girlfriend who I'm just hanging out with. And there's nothing wrong with me um, having that conversation with her or not having it with her. What I'm saying is, it is easier to move when you have a team that understands your moving language. So my purpose partners understand my moving language. They may even understand 
the the fear or the anxiety or how I'm, how I'm feeling or moving towards a dream, but because they understand my moving language, they're able to say, okay, well, Jojo, you got, this is the flow of it and you got to keep going. And I can say to them, this is the flow of it and you got to keep going. So if I'm trying to move inside of a team who doesn't understand my moving language, I'm going to file. I'm going to have a file. I'm not going, I'm going to try to shoot a shot and it ain't going to be right. I'm going to be scoring for the other team and not for my own. So it's easier to move when your team understands your moving language. They will insist that you keep pushing. You will have your teammates that's going to remind you why you are doing what you need to do. But you got to ask yourself, what does winning look like for you? So you can get on the team. You can do enough to do it. But is your effort going to keep you there? Thank you, Miss Cree. Because I, I know if, if I'm calling Cree, there's conversations I'm going to have with her that I can't necessarily have with my girlfriend who I just want to chit chat with because in lesson learned the hard way, that ain't her lane. I learned that. I got mad with cry because they couldn't have that conversation with me. It wasn't their business to have that conversation with me. And some of us, that's going to get us kicked off the team. That's going to get us kicked off team abundance because we're trying to have a communications with team. Le oh Lord, Jesus. I like that. We're going to get kicked off Team Abundance because we trying to have with Team Let. Team Lack understands your language. And so when I'm coming from Team Abundance, and I want to have a conversation. Team Lack ain't going to understand it, right? They're not going to understand my moving language. However, they will understand my past language. And they will remind me. And that is how you can get sucked back in to Team Lack and think Team Abundance is doing too much. It don't require all of that, JoJo. Uh, it, it, it don't. You ain't got to do all of that. You, you don't have to say all of this. You don't have to read all of them, them books. You don't have to stay up all night long. You don't have to f try to figure this out on the IT. You ain't got to do all of that. See, Team Lack will convince you that any effort that you put forth is too much effort. On Team Abundance, I'm here to tell you, boo, you may have made the team, but your effort is what's going to keep you here right you you can't because team lack ain't they ain't about that life team abundance we ain't about their life that's what makes us different so the conversation the atmosphere and the conversation is going to be different over here than it is over there that's what that's why when you working out boo when when you practicing every day in the beginning you you short-winded you can't breathe. Your chest hurt. Your muscles hurt. It hurt to move. It hurt to walk because it is requiring a different effort from you. See, over here on Team Lack, maybe you didn't have to work out and exercise as much. But, honey, it is a different atmosphere over here. It is a different level of breathing. It is a different level of understanding. It is a different requirement. So you got to put forth the effort to breathe over here because our conversations are different over here. A to the man. So we, we breathe in different over here. I like that. It's a different atmosphere. It is a different atmosphere over here on Team Abundance. We breathe differently. We breathe differently over here on Team Abundance. So over there on Team Lack, maybe you didn't have the same requirements, and that's okay. But over here on Team Abundance, at we as team members, we understand moving language, and moving language is ever evolving. It is growing and seeing and touching things that we can't yet comprehend. And it is a different atmosphere over here on Team Abundance. 
we breathe differently because we're at a different level of capacity. Mm, mm, mm. Child. See, my capacity over there on Team Lack was different than my capacity over here on Team Abundance. And he, here's the thing. Y'all, this is feeling good to me. Team Lack over there, your capacity, you were winning big over there in Team Lack because your effort and your requirement wasn't a lot. So you can be the shining star over there. When you get the Team Abundance, and I'm a firm believer, that's why some people don't want to switch teams, you get the Team Abundance where you might not be the shining star. And what was great over there ain't even getting you in the door over here because there's certain requirements and over here on team abundance team we can't have a lack conversation because you can't have it over here maybe you having a hard time breathing because it's a different kind of atmosphere it's a different kind of effort that you're having to put forth and you if you're not used to exerting yourself to do that then you're going to always think Team Abundance is doing too much. You're always going to assume this ain't what it is. You don't need it. You're going to always find some reason to say why that person is doing too much. Who they think they are. They ain't nobody. They from the same place I'm from. Who is she? It's always going to be a stream of things that require effort for the reason why they cannot go and do It is a different atmosphere over here on Team Abundance. We breathe differently because we are at a different level of capacity. My capacity for Team Lack, it didn't require me exerting myself. It didn't require me exerting my energy. But over here on Team Abundance, y'all, it is a different atmosphere. We're breathing differently. It is easier to move. This is my quote. It is easier to move when you have a team that understands your moving language. Don't get mad at that friend. And I ain't telling you, you got to leave your friends. Listen, I'm not telling you, you got to leave your friends and they can't be your friends no more because you're wanting to start on the journey and they don't. No, what I'm saying is, is that you got to understand the language of, you got to understand that level of comprehension. And then you got to understand that if you're trying to move this away, then you need people who understand this kind of movement action. Does it negate the fact that you can have a friend? I got friends on Team Lack. It's what they choose, and I can't get mad at them. However, when it comes to winning the championship, I'm about that life. I'm winning. I'm hanging that jersey. I'm cutting the net. I can't give my friend the responsibility of team abundance when they have chosen what side they want to be on. If I want to have a conversation like, girl, how you do? Girl, I'm fine. I'm just, and I just want to shoot the breeze. That's, I have friends for that and that's okay. And I had to learn my friend's lanes and not try to convince them or move them to a place where they were not ready. So what did I do instead? I, I got a new team. I got a new team, period. I got a new team. I got team members who understood what JoJo was trying to do. Your teammates will remind you and pep you up. See, some of us can get on the team, but it is our effort that is going to keep you in the game. It is your effort that's going to determine whether you go on to the championship or you stay a rookie forever. The, is your career going to end at the first game, at practice, and you ain't even started? It is your effort that's going to change your mindset, your life, your relationships, and your friendships. And if you're not willing to accept that, my friend, I don't know what else to tell you, dog. It is a different atmosphere over here on Team Abundance, period. So on this amazing day, if we are creating the dream team, if we're going to be the Michael Jordans, and I love me some Scottie Pippins. Uh, Y'all remember Dominique Williams? God, I used to love him too. Um, if we are creating our dream team, we have to be mindful of the team members that we are choosing to be on our team. 
Is my team member going to push me to do what I need to do? Are they going to remind me that I am a winner? Is my team member going to remind me that I'm a winner? Or are they going to remind me of my past and why I can't win? Or are you going to remind me of why I can't win? And if that's the case, then maybe I need to look at finding different team members. It is easier to move when you have a team that understands your moving language. It is a different atmosphere on Team Abundance because we breathe differently. Let me tell you something. When I first started working out with this trainer, it does a heel by my house. She said, walk it every day. The first two weeks, that heel got me. The And there's two of them. It got me every morning. By the time I made it to the top, I was like, you know what? Shh. I got to stand still. But something in me would not allow me to stand still. I kept moving. So when I came back around and saw that heel coming... You know, like a car, you rev it up. I started walking faster and I kept my speed as I got to the top of the hill. It's going to require a different effort. And the more you you understand that and you breathe differently because you have, you're in a different atmosphere. After a couple of weeks, your body will adjust. Now I can darn near run that hill and not even break a sweat. Not get winded. Now I have to take another route, something that challenges me even more. So if you're putting together a dream team, if you want to be a part of the dream team, certain things are going to be required. Okay? Period. There are going to be certain things that's going to be required. Your effort is going to be required of you. And if your effort... It's not up to par if it's not enough to take you to where you need to be. Then um, I don't think the dream team is the team for you. I think you may need to find another one. And there's nothing wrong with that. You can choose whatever team you want. I want you to be comfortable in your choice. Be comfortable in your choice. Just know it's a different atmosphere. The quote of the day or the statement of the day. I am strong and steadfast in my vision. I am blessed and grateful for my path. I know that where I am right now is exactly where I need to be. I have the fortitude to manifest my dream life. So on this wonderful day as we're putting together our dream team. As we're putting together our dream team, whatever it is that for you, whatever that is for you. Okay. I don't want you to get kicked off team abundance because you're trying to have a conversation with team lack about our playbook. But it is easier to move when you have a team that understands your moving language. There's a different atmosphere over here on team abundance because we had a different level of capacity. We are at a different level of capacity. And when you look at your dream team, look at the people who are on your team and what are they pushing and inspiring you to continue to do? Like, what are they doing themselves? Because that's important. What are they doing themselves? See, some of us, we can get on the team. We can get on Team Abundance because we can say, I'm going to fake it till I make it. And you can get here on Team Abundance and I welcome you to the team. Right? But is your is it going to be enough to keep you there? It is your effort that's going to keep you in the game. It is your effort that's going to keep you on the team. Because some of us, when more is required, we're not willing to do that part. So more will always be required over here on Team Abundance. And let me tell you, I felt that this morning. I had a call. I had a call at um, 5.30 this morning. It required a different level of capacity. And I didn't make the call at 5.30. I was like, oh, well, maybe they forgot. I was like, oh, good. I'm so sleepy. I could sleep another few minutes. But the, I knew the effort and the outcome that I wanted in order to get a different result, I had to do something differently. So I sat there. I ain't gonna lie. I sat there for 10 minutes. And I was like, 
I said I wanted this, not anybody else. Let me make this phone call. So at 5.40 a.m., I was pushing myself beyond my capacity. I was putting forth another effort because that my effort is what's going to keep me in the game. My effort is what's going to allow me to win this championship, period. Your effort is what has to show up when you don't feel like it. Like, I really wanted to, like, really, really wanted to stay asleep this morning. It is easier to move when you have a team that understands your moving language. It's a different atmosphere over here on Team Abundance because we breathe differently. So on this wonderful day, I'm not going to keep you guys long. I want you to have an amazing day. I want you to have an amazing day. Period. I want you to stay strong and steadfast in your vision. Know that you're blessed and you should be grateful for your path. Know that where you are right now is exactly where you need to be to manifest your dream life. Period. So on this wonderful day, welcome to the dream team. Just know your effort is going to have to sustain you here, though. It is your effort that is going to make the difference, whether you continue on the team or you don't. So on this wonderful day, I want you to be peaceful, period, because there's absolutely nothing after that. Please make sure you share the show because sharing is caring. Don't forget, we have Sister Rises coming up, y'all. Soon and very soon, October the 16th through the 18th. Please make sure you have your ticket so that you can come. I would really, really appreciate you there. Uh, here is your Team Abundance t-shirts. And I have some t the Sister Rise t-shirts are coming. Um, so that if you would if you can't come um, to the event, but you would like a t-shirt. Here you go. Sister Rise shirts. So that you can grab you one of the Sister Rise t-shirts as well. I should have my Team Abundance t-shirt today. So um, you can see that. But I just want to I just want to welcome you to the dream team. Um, that's our thought of the day. Um, and it is easier to move when you have a team that understands your moving language. It is a different atmosphere over here on Team Abundance because we breathe differently because we are at a different level of our capacity. Um, and I want when you're picking your dream team, look at how they are moving to know how you need to move. And your teammates are the people who are going to remind you of your wins. You got to ask yourself, what does winning look like? And just know that you can get on the team. You can do enough to get here. But is that effort, but is your effort going to keep you here? Is your effort going to allow you to get in the game, win the game? Because it's going to require something. Your effort is going to change your mindset, your life, your friends, and your relationships. If you're not ready for change, don't put forth the effort. If you're not ready for change, save your energy for what you really want to do. So on this wonderful day, I hope you have an amazing day. Please make sure you share the show because sharing is caring. And I will see you guys here bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a good one.